Hi, good morning, everyone. Great to be with you today. I was uh, reading a story about uh, back in 1997, these guys tried to do what had never been done before. They wanted to uh, circle the entire globe in a hot air balloon. That's amazing that uh, nobody did it before, but they planned for years and got gear together. The total cost of the trip was well over a million dollars, and this thing was a nice, it wasn't your typical hot air balloon that you'd fly out over, you know, Wenatchee or something. This thing was decked out, pressurized, everything. And they had no more gotten up in the air and they started smelling kerosene. I have no idea what the kerosene was for, but it was the smell of kerosene and it's filling the whole cabin. The cabin was pressurized and um, pretty soon they had to make an emergency bailout. They had to get out of this thing and the thing crashed in the Mediterranean and they finally retrieved the deal, uh, got it all up and they discovered that it was a little hose clamp, about a buck and a half for the hose clamp. So this, this you know, one and a half million dollar project was tanked by a dollar and a half hose clamp. Crazy. Now I think about the things in my life where God says, hey, Charlie, you know, you have to lay that aside. Um, you know, don't let that get in. In fact, there's a scripture that says it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. And we don't understand that in, in our non-agrarian society that we live in. Another phrase that is used that it's a little bit of leaven that will leaven the whole loaf. So just a tiny bit, but you know, your whole loaf is going to end up into, you know, leavened bread, not the unleavened bread that they normally eat. And uh, is, is what, what Jesus was talking about there is the small things in our life that he speaks to me about, he speaks to you about that we ignore. Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a little bit. It's not a big deal. Uh, can tank our whole life. The very thing that we ignore from the Lord that we put aside can wreck our marriage, can wreck our relationships, all kinds of things. And you look back and look, it's only a dollar and a half. It's a little thing. Uh, the, the entire trip, crashed, done, gone, over because of a hose clamp. A marriage, gone, done, over because of a thing the Lord said, deal with this, deal with this, deal with this. It's going to end up hurting you. And we say no because it's such a small thing. And we wonder what happened. Today, if the Lord's telling you something, man, dive in, deal with it, take care of it, repent of it, turn it away, get rid of it, whatever it takes. Say, Lord, I don't want this in my life. I need your help to deal with it. But Lord, I don't want this in my life. I want to live pure and clean before you and the people around me. And Lord, I want my life to be something that is honorable to all that I am as a follower of Christ. Jesus, thank you, God, for pointing out the little things in our life. God, uh, I, I get it. I don't want to do the big things. I don't want to commit murder. I want to do those things. But Lord, I don't want to do the little things either. So help me, Jesus. God, help me be a man of integrity that deals with the small stuff as well as the big stuff. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, let's deal with it all. Let's take care of it. Love you guys. Uh, we'll be with you tomorrow. Have a great day.